So welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Chad. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all of you guys that watch my content. It really means a lot. We're building this channel. We're getting more and more subscribers and I can't thank you enough for watching the videos. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about confidence building. Before we continue, I'm gonna give my brand new collection of Calm Down Karen merchandise a quick plug. I'm gonna link it in the description below. It comes in red, white, blue, gray, and black. And it's just a way to help support the channel. So if I do indeed create any value, provide any value at all for you, please consider supporting in this way. Let's get into the video. Okay, guys, we're back with Miss Zelda here. She's here uh, as a part of my three-week board and train program. And just to give you a little insight as to why she's here, uh, she does lack confidence. She lacks obedience. She lacks experience. And that's what we're going to give her. We're going to give her all three of those things. And I just kind of want to point out, you see how she kind of just got up here? Uh, this platform here is something that she's familiar with because we've been working from this platform. But at the very beginning, because I'm assuming a lot of people, a lot of you guys might have dogs that would look at this platform and be like, oh, hell no, nah, dog. Like, there's hot molten lava on top of that thing. I would never consider getting up on top of that. So before we graduate to something she hasn't done yet, which is stand on top of this, uh, this tire, let's talk a little bit about, you know, what I would do first. Because everything in regards to this whole thing building confidence, challenging our dogs to do new things that they don't think they can do, but I know that they can do. Um, it's a progression. It's a progression. So we built familiarity with the platform first, and then we're going to go from the platform to the tire. Good. Good girl. So let's just start from square one. At first, I would just lead her up to it. Boom. I would just pay that progression of just putting the, the front two up there and then break and then I would kind of take her right off of it straight away. So it's just about getting up there. Yes. Just getting her to do it and making it a positive experience. Okay. So let's fast forward. We're going to move on to the next challenge. Okay. Now, where's the value in this? You know, the value in doing stuff like this is your dog doesn't think they can do things like this. Okay. Upon initial introduction, the dog is afraid of this. So what happens when we face our fears, guys? and we overcome them and we, and, and, and we conquer them, we become more confident in ourselves. So that's exactly what this type of stuff is. And the most important part of all of this is you're the one taking them through this in a very understanding, in a very strategic kind of way. This is gonna build trust. This is gonna build more trust between you and your dog. All right, so I'm making this video also for you guys, but specifically for the owners as well. So when you're out and you're in public and you see like rocks and like cool things that the dog could get up on, those are opportunities to challenge the dog to get up on those things and to conquer that new look. That's why the tire, let's, let's go. See how she's just like, nah, I'm not getting up on that tire. She doesn't know she could do it. It's a new look, it's rounded, different texture, all the different things. Up, oh, good. Good that just putting her head over the top of it was a progression for me. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna pay that small progression. You didn't see, but her little paw, she thought about putting it up on this. And I'm not expecting it all to happen all at one time. Come on. Good. Come on. Got to pay right there. I don't want to discourage her, so I'm going to keep paying her. Come on. Bam, son. That's a victory. Free. That's a free. I don't want to traumatize her by getting her up there all at one time and, like, dragging her up there. At some point, I might use leash pressure. I really might because I could help a dog through. I could really help a dog out. But... Boom, look how brave she's being now. That's good. That's a big, brave girl, isn't it? Oh, I love you so much. She's the fucking sweetest dog in the world. If I could get her to just come across it right now, huge win. Come on. All right, she went off to the side, not the end of the world. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. Come on. Good. She just broke her world record. She's like all the way to the edge of it now. So those are payables. 
little bit of leash pressure. Come on. I don't want her to fight it too much, so she showed a little bit of uh, conflict there. I don't want her to, to fight it too much. I'm going to come on this side of her and kind of, yeah, kind of help her along, show her that she could do it, right? There's the relationship status I'm talking about. So let's see if we can get a little bit more progression. Mind you guys, I'm feeding her her meal. A lot of people are like, what treats do you use? This is just her food. It's a, it's a brand called Farmina Dog Food. Come on. Come on. Whoa! She did that all on her own, guys. Isn't that fucking something? Isn't that something? Okay, next goal. Get her up onto it and see if she'll stay there. Come on. Good, come on. Good. As soon as she starts to become indecisive and a little bit like sketchy, you could you could pay to kind of get back to like, hey, this is a good experience. Hey, come on. Whoa, that was brave, dude. Awesome. Up, up. Good, good. Come on up. Nah, -uh. come on. Good. Big celebration for that two seconds of remaining on that sucker. Isn't that something? Up. Well, you know, dogs typically swallow their kibble. They don't chew it much, so that's probably down the wrong, wrong pipe there. Come on. No. Up, up. Up, up. Good. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. Come on. Yes. Come on. Good. Good. Lots of feeds while she's doing it now. We're breaking records. We're breaking records. Good. Positive experience while the behavior is occurring. Straight up eating. Loves to eat. Holding position. Free. Beat our world record. And because I was so happy with that, Yes, jackpot reward. That's the end of the session. Tomorrow we're gonna come out here, we're gonna remove this, we're gonna remove the platform, and we're gonna see if she can get up onto it without the help of this platform. But again, everything in regards to stuff like this, and you could also correlate it to any new behavior at all. Everything is a progression. We don't expect these dogs to know what to do without teaching them what to do first. I'm Captain Chad, this is Zelda. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't, don't be afraid to uh, you know, check out my new merch, man. It really means a lot to me. I'm saving up to buy a van wrap. I got a big Transit 250 there that I need to wrap with more advertisement. It's gonna help my company grow. And all I could hope is if I provided value for you that you consider uh, $20 as the t-shirt cost after using code Team Floppy at checkout. TeamFloppyEars.com. I'll link it all in the description. Thanks for watching. Our session's done. Free.